My name is Amanda Bowman and I am the owner and head designer here at Amanda V's Floral Designs in Houston, Texas. I wanted to thank Mayesh for allowing me to be a part of the Mayesh Design Stars series of 2021 and providing all of the beautiful flowers we're going to be working with today. I have been flowering for about seven years now. I started in just weddings and events and then about three years ago I moved my business into more of a retail daily delivery system. Still doing weddings and events but adding a focus of the retail. I wanted to talk a little bit today about the retail and then also a little bit about the business of floral design. I'm gonna mix it up here a little bit. When I first started my business, I had three products and three products only, and those were posies. So when I say that I started with three different items on my website, I had all of them posies and they were all categorized by size. So a posy is just a simply a bundled bouquet wrapped in paper for protection and aesthetics. That's all it is. But when I started, I wanted to make it really easy for people to associate what everything is categorized by. So single, double, triple. That's it. A triple gets three of each thing and I include about seven to eight the different botanicals in every posy. So, Single gets one of each thing, double gets each thing, triple gets three of each thing. Easy enough. So, we're gonna put one together, see that way you can see, and I'm gonna start with the triple and work our way down. So I always start posies with my greenery, and really, I do not choose expensive greenery just because I really want to put my budget towards the flowers. So I've just got a little bit of leather leaf and a little bit of eucalyptus. And when I make my triple, I try to make sure that everything is spread out really well. That also is going to make it look bigger and you get more value to your item. Next, I'm gonna go in with my fillers. I normally have one to two fillers so that I got some beautiful dark pink wax flower here. And again, everything was provided by the lovely Mayesh. I picked it all in the cooler this week. Thanks to my rep, Jamie, for getting everything figured out. And our buyer at Mayesh Houston, Eddie, who's great. He puts up with all of my shenanigans when I'm telling him, hey, I really want this in this week, and he just does it. We got some beautiful light purple status here. This is my new favorite color of status. Um, I used to, you know, hate status and say, oh, it's so boring, but then all these new colors started to come out, and I just am obsessed. Okay, so next is our, what do we call, mass flowers. Um, I normally will choose two mass flowers, two or three, that are a little bit more on the economical side, so a little bit cheaper, and then I have my what I call rock star luxury flowers. So for today, I've got these beautiful spray roses, and then I've got peonies. Um, so, but for my economical ones, I've got hypericum berries, and then some mums. Um, really just using them as some really good filler, but they're bigger and then textural. Um, I personally love hypericum berries, but I don't know if any of you know, the leaves go bad really fast, so I try to take all of those off and just leave the berries and they'll last a lot longer and then hopefully don't have any complaints from customers. And then these cute little mums. I love this color. May has just been getting a lot of colors of mums in and I am ready for people to stop hating and embracing them. They are so cute. And when I'm making my posies, as I'm getting all of these bigger flowers in, I'm changing the depth, changing the heights. Um, that way, it all doesn't look like it's lumped together. And the whole point of these posies is that you can make them fast. I've got it pretty much down to a science. I can put together a posy, doesn't matter what size, within seven minutes. And that's collecting everything, getting it made, getting it wrapped, getting it out the door pretty much. Um, we're gonna put our rock star peonies in and I like to make sure that I use ones that are not open yet. 
just because I want someone to be able to have a nice little surprise the next day when they receive these. And again, I like to make sure that you can see them if that's really where your, a lot of your money is going. You wanna make sure you can see those, right? Beautiful spray roses, and these are also great because they take up a lot of room. Make sure they're well protected too. Alrighty, so I've got all my flowers in. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick and then it'll be ready to go out the door to a customer. As we built up the daily deliveries, we eventually added on more categories like arrangements, plants, and other things. But the interesting opportunity, instead of struggle, is the user experience. Everything had to be online because at the time, I was working out of my home. So I had to make this a very educational experience for my customers, not just because of the online ordering, but because they couldn't customize anything. So with the posies, everything is based on seasonality. What I can get from the market that week, uh, colors, nothing customizable. Um, so I post on Mondays what exactly the flowers are. I post the pretty pictures with the, each of the sizes, so that way you know the price of everything. But other than that, no way of knowing what you will get even if you pre-order. Well, thanks so much guys for joining me. I hope you learned a little bit of something about the retail world and I hope it encourages you to maybe explore entering the retail world. Um, join us next time. We're going to be talking about the opposite of what we talked about today. So higher labor, lower flower count as opposed to posies, which are higher flower count, lower labor. So again, thank you to Mayesh for including me and we'll see you soon.